Stores for Lauderdale. We're very excited to try this. We're going to the Las Olas area and we get to try foods from different restaurants while getting some information about the history. You've got to, yeah, we're both going to look pregnant by the end of this tour. <laughs> Okay, first stop, Wild Sea Oyster Bar and Grill at the Riverside Hotel. First thing we're trying are these waffles from the brunch menu with the sweet cream butter, some fruit, and oatmeal. I'm just recording a voiceover because the restaurant was so loud you could barely hear me talking, but this is El Camino. First, they gave us these watermelon jalapeno mocktails that were so, so good, but um, if you do drink alcohol, they did give alcoholic drinks to other people on the tour, but, you know, we're not. They were absolutely delicious, though. Brisket quesadilla. This restaurant is Argentino trying empanadas. rain my goodness uh oh this restaurant is called B square everything's been really good hasn't it been the last stop on the tour is Hollywood Donuts, where everyone gets a full-size donut to pick out. They were all so good. I chose a guava cheese because that sounded more Floridan because guavas are more Cuban, can't get that everywhere else. Brandon pulled a husband move and got the Dolce de Leche because afterwards I went, ooh, that one sounds good too, so I could have a bite, and Iris got the strawberry. You get to finish the tour with a big donut. We just got back to the hotel and that tour was wonderful. We all had such a good time and Iris ate everything that they brought out to us also. I wasn't sure how that was going to go with the child because Iris can be a little picky sometimes. And of course, it had to be pouring. It was pouring, it was raining outside, uh, but it was still great, you know, we made the most of it, and I think the food tour was, you know, a great way to spend the day that's raining when we can't be outside and at the beach. Yeah. But they did a really great job. They gave us little bits of history throughout the tour also. We learned why, why Fort Lauderdale is named Fort Lauderdale. I'm not gonna lie though, food tours are cool. I, I've never, I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never done this, the, uh, I've yet to do one, so that was interesting. Yeah. It was a very good little, it was perfect. It's been a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like that, you know, you didn't get huge plates with everything. You get to try a little bit of everything and that's, that's how I likes it. Mm -hmm. I like just a little bit of everything. Cause usually when I go to restaurants, I'm like, oh, I want to try that, but I also really want to try that. Try that too. Nobody out at the pool. Not while it's raining. <laughs> there you can see the ocean. Still looks pretty, still a pretty view. Obviously, it's a little bit of a bummer not to have the weather that you came for every single day while you're on vacation, but we're gonna make the most of it. And it looks like today is you know bad and then up until tomorrow afternoon and then it should clear up and be great weather for the rest of the time that we're here we'll get like a, a few more days of really nice weather get my beach in plus i got burnt so i needed to rest my burn a little bit anyway pelicans a line of pelicans flying through the sky pelicans So 
So Brandon taught us that you can pick up these jellyfish by the head. No. <laughs> that looked too real. Ew, Brandon. I love it. <laughs> we might move here, who knows? We might move to Florida. <laughs> well guys, it is bedtime. It has been a great day. Just so much fun to do. This is so much fun. A lot, I'm really tired. A lot of fun things to do. Um, this is be, turning out to be a great baby moon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And... She loves you. Yeah. Yeah. And stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. Just kidding, I don't snore. Ew.